Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Evan. I'm responsible for a panel PC of the II. And today I will present the point of the view from the IEI about what Industrial 4.0 is and what related products IEI could provide to customers under Industrial 4.0. Now we take a briefly look about what we are going to present today. We start from the introduction of the IEI and then I will show you what we think about Industrial 4.0 and the relationship between Industrial 4.0 and the IoT. Next, we will show you the idea smart factory and take more deeply into product level. Finally, we will share about some successful stories we possessed, hoping these precious experiences could help you get involved in Industrial 4.0 more quickly. IEI Integration Corporation is one of the world's leading industrial pro computer providers. We have more than 1,700 employees and set up warehouses in China and the United States to offer comprehensive system integration of hardware, software, customer driving service, and a global logistics support. We cooperate with over 300 distributors in Asia, America, and Europe to bring the fast response time when serving customers' needs. What's more, integrate with Industrial 4.0 and the IoT to innovate diverse solutions with excellence. What is IoT and what exact IoT is? Today we discuss this topic based on the perspectives of IEI and share our experiences and our successful stories for you. And today we have different keynotes come from, coming from Intel, the IBM, the Microsoft, and then you will know what exactly IoT is. First, what IoT is. This sentence stands for Internet of Things. So, the things represents different appearances, which means in different angles, the things could be explained into various business models. Here, I would like to share a new explanation of the IoT. Some people dismantle IoT into IT and OT. OT means operational technology and the IT means information technology. Here I specifically mention OT because this part will be the important issue for the following discussion. We can see basic scenario of industrial 4.0 under IoT. Every device connects to the internet and every co machine communicates with each other. This creates a cyber physical system and then being connected to the cloud. We could collect this amount of data for analyzing and get the use useful information. This is the concept of big data. Here I try to express the variously reliable levels to all the four different maintenance methods. First, corrective, corrective maintenance. Corrective maintenance is the maintenance task performed to identify isolated or rectified a fault so that the fa failed equipment, machine, or system can be restored into an operational condition within the tolerances or limits established for the in-service operations. Second, preventive maintenance. The preventive maintenance is a kind of care and servicing by personnel for the purpose of maintaining equipment and facilities in satisfactory operating condition by providing for systematic expansion, detection, and corrections of beginning failures either before they occur or before they develop into major defects. Third, condition-based maintenance. 
Condition based maintenance we call the CBM, shortly described, is maintenance when the need arises. This maintenance is performed at the one or more indicators which shows the, that the equipment is going to fail or the equipment performance is dis, deteriorating. The final one, the ultimate purpose, predictive maintenance. Predictive maintenance we call the PDM. PDM techniques are designed to help determine the condition of in-surface equipment in order to predict when maintenance should be performed. This approach promises cost saving over routine or time-based preventive maintenance because tasks are performed only when warranted. For example, there is a wind power plant which is far away from control center. How do we maintain this turbine at a good quality? The sensor will monitor the parameters of turbines and the data will be collected by PC-based controllers. The PC will send the data to control center through the internet. The staff in the control room could receive and record data. By analyzing this amount of data, the staff will dispatch a suitable technician with a right scale to the field by schedule. This could, be the, this could discover opportunities to save maintenance costs and waste. We discover the potential problems in advance and then try to solve the failure before it really happened. This is so-called predictive maintenance. Now we are going to introduce Smart Factory from the IEI point of view. This is our attitude toward the Smart Factory. The Smart Factory is composed of, of many parts, which include the data collection, execution, information delivery, motion control, sensing, and information analysis. This is a big story and we don't have enough time to explain all of them in detail. I will briefly describe it. First, the materials would be imported through the strictly data collection. Here, we need RFID and barcode to classify them clearly and precisely. Second, these materials will be classified and stored into different storage. In, product, in production line, we usually use industrial ro robotic arm to assemble small components. The robotic arm based placement are more are, more, are much more quick and precise than manual placement. And after, complete, after completing combination, there should be a station which will make quality check. At this station, we, will, uh, we need a smart camera and the barcode reader. The all procedures I mentioned above should be integrated and controlled by a central machine which is a smart education panel PC. And today, I will focus on this topic. From the point of view from IEI, we provide customers two various architectures of panel PC, which are x86 base and risk base. The panel PCs play a role of the data collections HMI in the smart factory. Besides of x86 based PC, we also develop a risk based PC. Android system is free license available, which is contrast to the Microsoft license. So customer could save money for software development. And based on the Android system, the hardware requirement should not be higher compared with Windows system. In other words, customer could cost 
could cause them by choosing Android system in factory. Here, I point out some applications and the locations where could integrate panel PC to gain better workflow. First, petrochemical industry and robot control and CNC machines and the automated production line. These are the possible applications which could be used panel PC. Now I will introdu introduce our products by their performance. We start from the entry level. The latest product line is based on the Bay Tray CPU. The panel, the panel size are from the 6 inch to 17 inch. There are, they are fanless designed. And in the future, we are playing in 19 inch or larger ones. Recently, we use one of the heavy panel PC to test a C1D2 criteria which is a panel PC 5152-D525-E. This E means, it means explosion. Now we take a glance at the fanless battery solution from the outside of the product. Touch screen, we provide both PCAP touch and uh, resistive single touch. There are a reach of IO interface, which includes to LAN port, to COM port, to USB 3.0, to USB 2.0, MVGA, and HDMI. Additionally, there are two PCIe mini card slots for customers to add functions. By adding multiple functions, PCIe mini cards such as 3G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, COM ports, LAN ports, the flexibility could be expanded conveniently. Dual LAN port design could be uh, could establish two networks. One is for internal network and another is for the system backup. Mechanically, ultra thin design compared to the old machines, only 60% 60, 60 thinner than before. And you can see the touch is flat design, just like the consumer products. And uh, electronically, wide range DC input from the 9 volt to the 36 volt. You could use terminal block or DC jack. Here, we provide wide range power input to adapt various factories and different applications. Next part will be performance panel PC. We provide four different size high performance panel PC, which are based on 81 H81 solution. We also provide two different power supply methods. The ultra thin flat basal design is suitable for panel mounts, and the face of the panel PC is IP65 compliant. This could be used in the environment of splash water. Receptive touch is very common in the industrial environment, and the key PCAP touch could be used in our door signage. And first, the tile mounting methods are available for various applications. In the traditional industry, Resistive touch is popular because uh, it could be used with diff different gloves. Thanks to the revolution of touch technology, nowadays PCAP touch could also be used with the most gloves by increasing the sensitivity of touch control IC. So the PCAP touch has a lot of disadvantages such as higher level hardness, higher waterproof level and uh, even being resisted, resistive to high temperature. So we predict that in the future, PCAP touch would become a mainstream in the industrial applications. Traditionally, we usually need a external power adapter outside the panel PC. This could cause some potentially dangerous 
effect and the risk of discontinuity during production. So we think about that and consider about the effects. We design the built-in power supply so that all you have to do is simply connect a power cord to a panel PC. Additionally, we also have a DC power supply skew for specific customers. Here, here are our Android based flat based or panel PCs we called IOVU series. We have three sizes varying from the 12 inch to 17 inch. This, this series will be available in the coming month. And in the future, we plan to develop a smaller size such as a 10 inch. Multiple COM port and the GPIO ports are designed for factory purpose to connect other devices conveniently. Wireless function such as Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are available in IOVU. It makes customers communicate with each other devices directly without them. If you choose LAN port, IOVU supports power over Ethernet function, which means it's unnecessary for additional power input port. Now I, uh, I'm going to introduce some successful, successful stories we had. This is a successful story about the factory production line. The customer in Germany used X86 base panel PC to configure and control pressure, speed, air during, and air during production processing. And this one, the customer in Spain uses panel PC F15B in automation in factory. Panel PC here is in charge of controlling equipment and monitoring multiple product lines simultaneously. As you can see, there are at least three lines in the picture. In this application, Customer uses the wall mount to implement panel PCs onto existed box. Here we provide a face on mount 75 cross 75 and 100 cross 100 sizes. And the panel PC are also used to achieve some display purpose. In this application, the end user uses a panel mount, which indicates you can only see the front panel and the screen. You cannot see the box attached to the panel because it is hidden by customer's box. In this case, the customer should reserve cutout area, which is provided by hardware manufacturer. And this is a tower system in gas station. The panel PC is used to integrate car reader, number keyboard, and a printer. The panel PC will show the payment procedure and the gas and the price information. Here, the panel PC is panel mounted. Only thing from bezel could be seen here. Ruggedized receptive touch could be compatible with any kind of gloves and the IP65 compliant waterproof level panel is solid enough for water splash and this is the case in England and in conclusion I introduce the concept of IoT and bring a new understanding about industrial 4.0 and I mentioned the in ideally smart factory and introduced some products we developed. Finally, some successful stories we described are uh, some success some successful stories were described to enhance the relationship between products and the real applications. And I hope today's speech could bring some new ideas for you in the future. And thanks for your attention.